Welcome to Second Listen Saturday on the Parenting Roundabout Podcast, where we share some fun moments from a past episode for your weekend listening pleasure. Look for new episodes every Monday through Friday. From the Be Careful What You Wish For files, <laughs> Nicole's <laughs> daughter has a new bow. Mm-hmm. So, uh-huh. I'm sure she's happy we're talking about it on our podcast, too. <laughs> yeah, because she listens to them all. <laughs> Does she? Hi, Kristen. So, so happy for you, honey. Yeah. <laughs> so that brought up a question. Terry, do you want to take it away, <laughs> what the question is? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you know. This is not a topic that's often come up at my house, romance. Um, and I often wish that my daughter especially could find someone. She does also, um, but not that she's like going out too hard looking for one. But if one should drop, you know, at our doorstep, that'd be keen. <laughs> but, you know, <laughs> as I think about what's involved in having your kid dating somebody, and especially somebody that you did not have any particular control over, choosing, I often feel like maybe this is one of those things where when it happens, it's like, yay, it's happened. And now I have a whole new box Mm -hmm. of worries. So now I'm worried that my kid's not dating. And then when my kid's dating, I'm going to have so much more to worry about. I mean, I was a kid dating at one time. I know what I did. I will have a lot to worry about. (laughs) So, uh, and I was a pretty, I, I was a pretty well-controlled teenager. So, uh, you know, um, so I thought I would ask you guys, do you, uh, how is it when your kid <laughs> starts dating? Is it ac- everything that you dreamed it would be? Are you glad that it happened? Or do you wish that you could have micromanaged things a little better? You know, uh, been more specific about the particular bow yeah, or or do you you know are you happy that it's happened or do you wish that maybe you could go back to those days when you had a different set of worries? Nicole, I don't mm. know how much you can talk about this right now. <laughs> Let's well, talk about your son and his girlfriend then. <laughs> yeah, well, my son, I I hate to say this because I don't mean it to sound sexist. Yes, my son was a different experience than what right. I'm having with my daughter right now. Mm -hmm. Uh, my son was more outgoing. He had a wider group of friends. There were always girls in his groups of friends. So he started Mm -hmm. dating at a relatively young age. I mean, dating at that age was really just going to the movies together. Yeah. Um, But he started, you know, hanging out with girls at a younger age. And I don't know, I feel like yeah, we had decisions that we had to make along the way that we hadn't had to do before. But he was also an easy kid too, relatively easy. So if we said, you know, be home at 11, he was home at 11. Okay, so maybe yeah. sometimes he was home at 11.05. <laughs> you know, my daughter, on the other hand, I feel Uh-oh. like girls are a whole other, <laughs> you know, um, I will first, and for starters, I mean, my daughter is starting a little later than what my son did. So she's almost 17 and Mm -hmm. she is now in kind of her first, um, semi formal relationship. Uh (laughs) And, but, you know, leading up to it. So for the past two years, there's been this whole angst over, you know, will I I not have a boyfriend and will I date and nobody likes me. And so, you know, there's all this preamble to it. And then, now that it's finally happened, now that she has somebody that she's interested in and vice versa, it's now I'm like, okay, what's this guy like? Do I like him? Uh (laughs) Um, You know, how much time should I let her spend with him? Um, How much time should they be spending alone? You know, there's always like a little, like you said, micromanagement issues. Like the other, the other night, it was, it was a Sunday night and she had stayed home all day working on her homework. And then, Uh In the evening, or I think it was like six six thirty, or she, <laughs> I come downstairs, and she had had a shower, and I'm like, okay, this is weird. <laughs> <Because> <laughs> she usually doesn't have a shower at six o'clock on a Sunday night, yeah. And so I knew something was up. I knew that you know something was going on. I said, what wh- What are you doing? Are you you know planning on going out? And she says, Yeah, well, I got an invitation to go over to his house, 
And I'm like, okay, are his parents there? <laughs> so then, like, it just like starts this whole like you know, kind of yeah. array of issues that come up. And then, yeah, his parents are going to be there. And I'm like, well, it's a Sunday night. You can't go out on a Sunday night. You have school tomorrow. And she's like, well, I've done all my homework, and I'll just be there for two hours to visit. And uh, yeah, it was just. And my husband wasn't home, and I was like, who? Somebody, somebody it's, to help me make this decision. I can't do this alone. <laughs> is it like you want to be cool, mom? But then on the other hand, you I know can think of so many reasons why it's a bad and, idea. And it's only like the third sort of quote unquote, you know, yeah, informal date they've had, and I'm already stressing. Oh my gosh, her grades <laughs> are going to plummet. She's, like, <laughs> she's, you know, it's a not, you know. I shouldn't be letting her go out on a Sunday night. What kind of mother am I? And in the meantime, I, we didn't really have those issues with my son. So it's just like this whole other ball of wax that we're dealing yeah. with. And, um, but the, in, on the upside, we actually do know the boy yeah. and we know his family and we've known them for well, years. That's good. And, um, and they're, the mom is just as, uh, Anxious as I am, apparently. Oh. <laughs> you guys so, can commiserate. Yeah, we can uh, work together to keep tabs on them. So good. But then, you know, and then again, I'm like, okay, she's almost 17. Like, you know, how much? Yeah. You know, I mean, I still, I know she still needs guidance, but yeah, you know, it's not like she's 13. So. And then there's the whole emotional thing of it too, because you know, if anything goes wrong, it's going to be on you. Oh. The, to I mean, clean up the mess. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> totally. I mean, yeah. But but I'm. I think I'm used to that. I'm more experienced with that. <laughs> yeah. You know. So like with my son, we didn't have the whole preamble leading up to stuff, but we certainly uh-huh. had a lot of, you know, the disaster relief. <laughs> 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 we provided a lot of disaster relief yes. <laughs> afterwards. I feel very skilled at that. We have the equipment, we have the supplies to go in. <laughs> we, have, we know exactly what to do. We got the game plan. <laughs> nice. Disaster strike. I don't mean to make oh, light man. of anything that's happening in the real world right now, but um, you know, whereas my daughter, we haven't had that experience yet. <laughs> yes, so, I. <laughs> yeah, so it's all kind of. Um, Every day is a new day. Just when you think yeah. you've got this parenting thing down. Yeah. Uh, and it's like you want your kid to have these experiences, but at the same time, hey, I, I don't I know. know. I wish I wish I could really truly micromanage that sort of thing and like find a nice person and you know, right. set them up in my living room and uh, <laughs> just, just be in charge of everything. Because it's, it's like, you right, know. Because that's the problem. I mean, you can't, you, even if you, if you wanted to, as you do, yeah. you can't. Mm-hmm. So. No. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard, especially, you know, when people, when you, when you're older and out of school, it's really hard to find somebody. And, you know, I've been, we've been looking for like singles activities to go to, but she doesn't want to go by herself and I can't blame her. I, I wouldn't want to go by myself and I would be nervous for her to go by herself. Mm-hmm. Here, go to this place with a bunch of single strangers, you know, <laughs> get mm-hmm. home safe and, uh, but you know, I can't go with her now at her age, so yeah. it's complicated. It is. Are you dealing with this sort of thing, Catherine? Just a little bit. I mean, um, my daughter's 15 and, you know, she certainly has friends who have had boyfriends, um, before this, um, she hasn't really. And, you know, when she's gone to homecoming and things like that, it's just been with a big group of girls and yeah and in fact she had a a friend who's a boy ask her if he should ask her friend to to homecoming and i mean she wasn't interested in this in this boy but um Uh she's just friends with him and um he wanted to know if if she thought he could ask the this other girl to homecoming and she's Uh like well she really wants to go with the girls. You know, she wants to, mm-hmm. she wants to go with the group, but you should, you should talk to her at the dance. <laughs> so, <laughs> so yeah, well. but you know, we had just the other day, she, she said, can, she, she was having some girlfriends were coming over to hang out. She's like, and can 
these these two boys come too and i was mm-hmm. like oh, okay <laughs> like <laughs> and then so then it was going to be like five girls and two boys and then all of a sudden it was well there's two more boys that want to come i'm like oh okay can we <laughs> can we limit this number and <laughs> and then they're in the basement and I'm like thinking, oh, oh the, you know, yeah. I know there's a couple of beers in the fridge down there. Should oh, I take yeah. to, should I remove them? Like, oh, oh. <laughs> and you know, what time are they going to, what time are they going to leave? And, you know, do all the other parents of all the girls know about this and are yep. they okay with oh, it? Like yep. all that stuff yep. comes up. I mean, the good news is that my house is like, a leaky sieve where you can hear everything that's going on. And I was texting with my sister, like there's eight teenagers in my basement and they're (laughs) boys. And, and I said, the good news is I can hear everything because you know, there's no, (laughs) it's just an old house. And she said, yeah, but what about all the like nooks and crannies in your oh, base no, in your God. basement? And I said, yeah, but that's why I have spiders down there. <laughs> She's like, well played. Yeah, bring out the spiders and let the yes. girls know. Yes, oh, we so. had an issue with spiders in the basement recently. <laughs> just go into any you of might want to stick to this, you know, center of the room and keep yeah. the lights on. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> That's a very natural way of deterring teenagers, you know, yes. so you want to come across as the, because the, the, the issue, the other issue too, is you want to come across as the strict bad mom that, you know, nobody wants to come and hang out at your house and everybody's afraid of you. And yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I was thinking about like, would I rather they all be at my house or would I yeah. rather she be somewhere right. else? And I guess, you yeah. know, it's good for them to be here. I mean, we have um, an air hockey slash ping pong table down there and we have a an old arcade game so those are like boy friendly but yeah. wholesome <laughs> things they can do just as long as there's no empty beer bottle that right, can be spun right. yeah. <laughs> right. that was the other thing i'm like i have we don't have any food we don't have any like snacks that are you know teenage yeah. boy suitable and she, she uh. found a box of popsicles she's like we each ate like five popsicles <laughs> okay yeah that's a, that's <laughs> all right with me <laughs> as much as it's 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 kind of you know oh yeah I've got to post them and I've got to worry about what they're doing and there's a couple of things I learned with my son and that was that um I would much rather have them at my house mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. and if I supplied food and beverages you know appropriate age beverages right yeah um they were more than happy to be there and um we just kind of set down the expectations with him early on like you know if your friends come over and there's a big disaster you clean up right (laughs) yeah you know if something happens and he and he even now admits you know okay so things weren't totally wholesome at certain times <laughs> but they didn't bring it into the house mm-hmm, <laughs> you know they didn't yeah. they didn't bring it in onto the property they knew that they couldn't so they didn't so yeah i don't know it just i guess that's reassuring <laughs> yeah well I mean, you know teenagers are gonna be up to no good period so <laughs> yeah <laughs> just, i guess just uh keep it away from my house and we're all good. <laughs> Unless, These of course, are... you need a ride. I'll give you a ride. <laughs> These but... are the times I'm glad that whenever my son gets together with his friends, all the moms are there, too. It's mm-hmm. like I never yeah. have to worry about that. Yeah. No, we, yeah. And we, <laughs> there's, there were some times that were pretty kind of tough and touchy with him because they don't know how much to tell the other parents. But, <laughs> <sighs> yeah. It is tricky. It's very tricky. Normal Typical kid problems. But, you know, so much different than when we were teenagers because I know I didn't tell my mom a thing and I never had yeah. people over at my house. I always just left the house. And, you just uh, got on that ski do and took off. I just took <laughs> off. I strapped on my snowshoes and I was out of there and what she didn't know didn't hurt her. <laughs> wow. It's scary now to think of being on the other end of that, isn't it? Yes. Yeah. I, I mean, and I this mean, is how I feel about the driving too. Like, I know it's it's going to be good for me 
eventually when <laughs> when she's yeah. driving, but the process of getting there is just terrifying. It really yeah. Is. Yeah. yeah. But you'll love it. Give it, give it like, give yourself a month to sort of get used to it. And after that, you won't think about it again. <laughs> <laughs> I made my yeah. husband take her out yesterday because I was like, she needs practice. And I just, <laughs> I will go sit at the ice rink for an hour and a half. You take her driving. <laughs> Seems like a reasonable division of labor. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was a fair trade. So Yeah. And it was freezing no. at that rink. <laughs> but we do it. Yeah. We have a fireplace at that rink, so. Yeah. Carrie, doesn't, is your, is your son still dating his girl? Didn't he have a yeah, girlfriend? Yeah, he has, he has like. Like, how do you manage ex- that? An extremely low maintenance relationship. It basically involves saying that he's, she's his girlfriend. Oh, okay. That's pretty much <laughs> the extent of it. And, you know, he, he put a very sweet thing on Facebook wishing her a happy anniversary. And, you know, he kisses her on the cheek whenever he sees her and refers yeah. to her as his girlfriend. But that's, you know, when they do stuff, they do stuff with the group, with all the moms and stuff like that. I don't think they've ever been on a date by themselves. They mm-hmm. might have been, we might have been all in a movie theater together and the parents were sitting behind or something. But, and neither of them seems to want that. And both sets of parents are like, this is nice that I don't have to worry about anything yeah. because, yeah. but at the same time, part of me says, but you know, is he ever going to have a, a more real relationship and will it be with this girl or will it be with somebody else? Does having this sort of, you know, in name only relationship get in the way of that? I don't know, but I really don't need to worry about that with him right now. That's down the road, mm-hmm. way right. down the road. And for now, and it's, honestly, it's, you know, for, for a lot of, typical kids that in name only thing is is what they do yeah i mean obviously not at his age but yeah you know yeah it's kind of like a fifth grade level relationship you know where you (laughs) tag her and say you know you're my girlfriend right i'm your boyfriend right and that's (laughs) he gave her a locket one year and that seemed to have sealed the deal right and since then there's been very little (laughs) <laughs> but uh you know but i i think my daughter would be happy to have even a in name only thing yeah. but it's just nothing has worked out and i feel really bad and i think back to the things that i did when i was her age to try to meet somebody and i also think back to how annoyed i was when my mother said get out and do things and meet people so right. you know i had much more wherewithal to do that myself um you know but you do have to get to a point i think at least as an adult. I mean, when you're a kid, there's a whole different social structure around dating and all that. But when you're an adult, you have to get to the place where going out and meeting people is a higher priority than, than just not. sitting home <laughs> right. and being comfortable, you yeah. know? And until you're at that point, you're just never going to do it. And while, you know, in the abstract, I think she would like to have a relationship and she sees, you know, things on TV and she sees things in movies and thinks, why don't I have that? She hears other people her age getting married but it's not quite to the point where, yep, got to do something about it. Mm-hmm. Right. <laughs> it's to the point yeah. where, you know, I, it's like if Amazon would ever have a boyfriend delivery system, man, could they clean up? <laughs> Just, you know, you know, we've talked about online dating, which is something that was, you know, when I was her age and looking, there were, I think, I think it was mostly through classified ads. I mean, there was that sort of, I know I, I, I met somebody through like a Catholic, Catholic singles thing, but it wasn't, there was no online yeah. at that time. I right. think it was, you know, you called a phone number or you got a, a brochure or I didn't even remember how, how you got it. Yeah. Uh, but now there's all these opportunities theoretically to meet somebody, you know, from the comfort of your computer, mm-hmm. but she's not quite ready to do that. Yeah. It's a little embarrassing to do that maybe. Is it? Well, it's hard. I I mean, I feel like it's, I've never done it, but you know, (laughs) but people I know, I mean, you know, you have to, you're setting yourself up for a lot of rejection Mm -hmm. and also having to reject people. Exactly. So both of those are uncomfortable and hard. And it's embarrassing when your mother's at the next table (laughs) texting you. (laughs) Now say this. Yeah, how it would have to be. But I don't know. I still have talked on this before that I think there's a really, a real market niche for parents of shy adults 
mm-hmm. to match them up. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's, you know, there should be, I don't, I know matchmaking is bad and arranged marriages are bad and it's best if you go out and find you. But if you have, have people who are not comfortable going out and doing things and meeting people and finding people, you know, perhaps they could find each other through some mechanism. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Investors, call me. Let's right. get this Let's going. Get it. <laughs> or, or mothers of shy sons, call me if you're in Northern New Jersey area. <laughs> that will be Mama Toot on Twitter. Look me up. The next goal yeah. of this podcast is <laughs> that would be super starting, micromanaging. Starting Terry's Fine job. business. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah. I just you know, there's somebody for everybody, right? You just have to. But, uh, you know, I was sad when in high school, when really, and when nothing was going on and, and I felt like she was missing out on things. I don't think she felt it too much then, but I did, you know, I remembered, I always had boyfriends in high school. And so, you know, you, you kind of miss those milestones, but then it would have been really difficult in a lot of ways too. So Mm -hmm. I guess you got to be comfortable with what's, what is, and then deal with what comes up when it comes up. Mm Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. As you all, I'll live vicariously through you guys. <laughs> and I'll thank you. Gee, I'm glad I didn't have to deal with that. Exactly. That sounds really difficult. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> as exciting as this is, you know that it will likely end. And yes, yes, it, that's not going to be the fun part. My kids come straight home from work and sit home and watch TV. I know exactly where they are and what they're doing. <laughs> yeah. It just as my daughter was leaving for school this morning. Oh, by the way, we're going to hang out for an hour after school. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> right. Is it going to be in a populated area? <laughs> I mean, it's a good thing it's daylight, but... <laughs> are there surveillance cameras that I can tap into? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Make sure your GPS is turned on. <laughs> I know. It's exactly... <laughs> But it was funny the other night, I have to quickly tell you this, Um, because the boy, the boy is actually the younger brother of my son's best friend. That's how we know the family. And Uh so on Friday night, when she and the boy hung out for the first time, we all had them. (laughs) (laughs) And we were swapping text messages back and forth. Where are they now? What do you think they're doing? (laughs) So bad. (laughs) They are going to find a way to ditch you. (laughs) They were, they were, you know, and then my son's friend was like, should I do a drive by? Should I go? (laughs) And then, and apparently his mother was tracking him as well. And, I guess at one point she was like, it's getting late. What are you doing at the park? At home? I see you. Uh, so there was all this. Modern state uh, of parent surveillance. Yeah, there was. I, so I said to my husband, I said, really, in reality, between two sets of parents and two older brothers, yeah. <laughs> they're going to have a hard time circumventing us. We're at least putting some <laughs> obstacles in their path. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just let them know you're going to be doing that, and that that alone should be sufficient. A deterrent. <laughs> yes. Yeah, so, I mean, you know, their teenagers are going to figure out a way to, like, ditch us at some point, but um, yeah. until then, until they get more savvy. <laughs> See, it sounds like you should come with a warning label. We'll surveil all teenage <laughs> activities. <laughs> That's a really good one. <laughs> yes. 